And the last thing we need to do is just make the plugin.yml file, which is literally six lines. Um, but because it's space sensitive, each indentation in the decoding is a space. There's too much, um, too much of a chance that you might not put in the proper amount of spaces. So I've sent you a link in the description of this video as to, um, or just, yeah, a link of the coding that you need to put into this file. So you can just copy the coding from that link. And then once you've done that, come back to this video. And um, right click your project, door lock, go to new, go to file, do plugin.yml, press finish, and paste in the code that I sent you. The only thing that you should need to change if you followed everything exactly is the the dot geek player, which you can change to your own IGN. We don't have any commands that um, we're using in this tutorial, so you can just leave one line blank without any spaces after the word commands. Um, and yep, so as you can see, we're referencing our package me dot geek player dot door lock, and then this last bit is just the name of our main class. So if you change that, you need to make sure you change it here as well. Okay, so now we just export. Go to file export or um, you can be like me and be cool and have a shortcut for it uh, and then you're going to choose the project that you just made you're going to export it to your server plugins folder press finish and then you can launch your server and test it out I'll go ahead and do that I'm just going quit Eclipse because my computer has no RAM um, Or I'm trying to remember what I called it. I'm pretty sure I got that wrong. Oh, there we go. Okay, and you can launch your server. Uh, let's just go with 198. Okay, you watch your server launch, and you should see door lock uh, is loaded, and it says it is enabled, like we told it to say. And now you can launch Minecraft. Okay, and you can go join the server. Okay, and now if we try to open up a door since I don't have the permission, boom, you may not interact with this door. Of course, it's local, so there's barely any lag. On a real server, you might see the door open for a split second, but the player would not be able to get through regardless. <clears throat> also, if I try to break this block right here, it won't work because the uh, the door above is protected. So there you go. That is how you make a door locking plugin. If this tutorial helped, please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any problems, leave it in the comment section, and I will get to you as soon as I can. Um, don't dislike it just if you got lost somewhere, because I'll do my best to help you. Um, and who knows, maybe you'll end up liking it in the long run. Uh, so thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Peace out.